And today what I'm going to be doing is a comparison test with all these popular resins. Sigwon, Dr. Crafty, Craft Resin, J. Dixon's Resin, Art Resin and Let's Resin. All I'm going to do is mix them up. They've all been sitting in the same room for the same time and so they're all at the same temperature and I purchased these about a month ago. I'm going to mix them up according to their instructions on the bottle and then I'm going to leave them. I'm not going to do anything with them. I'm going to let them cure up and then we can look at how well they perform for UV protection because I'm going to leave them outside in the sun. How well they disperse the bubbles. I'll also do do a price comparison test in British pounds and American dollars so we can compare the prices once I've mixed everything up. Now this isn't sponsored by anybody. If you like these resins, that's brilliant. If you don't like these resins, that's fine too. I'm just doing a comparison test because I want to know which one performs the best. I'm going to be mixing these up using the instructions that come with each of the resins because some resins say to mix for three minutes, some say to mix for five minutes, it's important to follow those instructions. I've chosen the craft resin first for no particular reason. I'm not doing these in any particular order. All I'm doing is making sure I'm following those instructions and using the same volume for each. Each one's going to have its own little cup so they don't get mixed up and nothing at all added to them. I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that got me a coffee last week. If without you guys, I wouldn't have been able to get my 3D printer. So thank you very much. If you'd like to get me a coffee, the link for that is in the description below. Also, a big thank you to all my members. The team is growing lovely now for the membership. We're having some great fun, lots of help, lots of working with each other and competitions as well where you can win some great prizes. If you want to become a member and benefit from all those perks, that link is in the description as well. Love to see you over there. So carrying on mixing these up, using the J-Diction one here, and then the Let's Resin one. And I think you'll be quite surprised with the results that I get after six months of these. If you haven't already checked out my other channel, please give it a peek. I do lots of different crafting over there. No resin, but all lots of other different things and trying different things out. Right, we'll let these cure. These have all cured up now. I am going to take them out of these plastic cups and then relabel them. They should come out fairly easily. So far, they're all looking clear, apart from the art resin that's got lots of little micro bubbles on. And I didn't burn any bubbles off the top either because I wanted to see what it looked like when it disbanded and it also here. An art resin is a thick resin and it's usually used for coating where you would easily be able to burn them off. And this is just my experiment. I'm sure everyone's got their own opinion about the resins, but hopefully this will help. I've marked these up with permanent marker now. They're marked on the bottom with a bit of tape and on the side of every one. The other thing I didn't mention is art resin is the only one after 24 hours that doesn't feel 100% cured and still feels a little bit sticky and soft and also that I can leave fingerprints in. So it may need just a little bit more time to cure than the others. Well, I'm not sure if you can see already on this camera because it's quite bright out here, but those three are still lovely and clear. But after 24 hours, these three have started to take on a little tinge of yellow. So it'll be interesting to see how they cope over the next few days. Well, this has been out here about six days now. I do take it in at night. I don't leave it out at night. And you can see that three of them really are starting to go yellow. One far more than the others. I would say three of them so far haven't changed at all. But as you can see, it's not really sunny in here today. Although the dogs are really loving being outside. I want to show you these. It's been two weeks now since I started this experiment and one of them as you can see has gone really really yellow and I promise you there is no tomfoolery around this I have no skin in any of these games to be perfectly honest because I can recommend any resin and get an affiliate link for it I just want to make sure that you know which one is the best really for going yellow and for bubbles and cost. So this one is particularly yellow. I'm not going to show you which one it is yet, but I've put it on this white cloth and in comparison to these, then it really has changed colour. Look at the amount of bubbles that are still there on the top of that and throughout. Well, I've finally come to the end of testing out my resins and I picked these six really popular resins. I think art resin is probably the most popular, then following down the line in the most popular. Although I would say these resins are certainly becoming 
a lot more popular. I'm so pleased this experiment's finished because I'm fed up trying to take care of all these pieces. But I wanted to do this for you. So I've judged it on three things. Price, yellowing and bubbles. And I'm going to show you the art resin. Now these are my opinions and these are my findings. Just using every day, leaving this out in direct sunlight. This is the art resin. I'm putting it on this light so you can see. It is very yellow and went very yellow very quickly. It is full of bubbles. Remember I didn't do any torching or anything at the beginning. Look at all the bubbles on the top of that and throughout. Now those bubbles would never release through torching. You would have to get rid of those through a pressure pot. That is the most expensive one at £59 per litre which is $69.32. I just wouldn't touch it. I did use that resin when I very first started and it nearly put me off using resin. Now, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that love each one of these resins in their own way and I'm really pleased for you. Honestly, I am and if you get great results from them, really great. So don't leave any hateful comments in my comment section because they will literally just be filtered straight out. If you like the resin, that's brilliant. All I'm doing is showing you my own independent findings. The prices I found as well are on Amazon in the UK. I've gone for the normal price rather than the discounted price because some had discounts and some didn't. I know that if you buy it in larger quantities like I do with the T-Expert resin, then it does work out cheaper per litre. But our resin the worst. Second worst was the Dr. Crafty. That turned out really yellow. I wouldn't use that. And I think that was the second worst one for having bubbles in there as well. Then there was Sig One. That was $28.95 a litre, $34.01. Some bubbles. I was quite impressed. There wasn't that many, although too many if you wanted to clear casting. And it had some yellowing as well. The Craft Resin, which advertises bubble free, completely bubble free, was $39.99 a litre which is $46.99 it yellowed a tiny bit I wouldn't say you would overly notice that if it wasn't next to the other ones certainly and there is bubbles in there there's quite a few bubbles in there so it's not self-gassing at all the only reason I think they say that is because it's quite a thin resin probably work brilliant in a pressure pot but not everybody's got a pressure pot but can you see there is bubbles in there but not yellowing too bad so I put there tiny but yes the let's resin and oddly enough let's resin where I looked and J Diction were both at the same price no difference there yellowing I would say there was absolutely no yellowing to that whatsoever and it will probably yellow in time all resin yellows in time but obviously that is not bad at all I think that's very good and let's resin without a out had the fewest number of bubbles in there. The J Diction one, no yellowing at all. Again, a few bubbles in there. Probably the second best and again, price-wise about the same. The only thing I would say between the Let's Resin and the J Diction one is if I push this here, this one is much harder, I think, than the Let's Resin one. The J Diction one certainly cures the hardest out of all of them and it's the easiest I find to use. Personally, I would avoid these three. I would avoid this one because it's just so expensive. It's too thick. It might make a great coating for pictures and things like that. I also find it's soft. Look, look how easy. It, I can dent that with my fingernails. It never really dries hard, I don't think, or cures hard. But again, please, no hate comments. I don't read them anymore. I filter them out completely. If you want to hate, hate, but I'm not going to see them. None of my lovely subscribers or members are going to see them. It's up to you. Take from this what you want. I feel that I'm very happy that I'm using this resin. I didn't use the T-Expert resin in this test because I didn't know about it at that time when I did this test six months ago. So that's why it wasn't included. I'm going to put these somewhere safe now and maybe look at them again in a year or 18 months time to see if there's been any more dramatic change in the colour. I mean, obviously there's not going to be any change in the amount of bubbles that are in there, but there you go. You never know. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Personally, I found it very useful for me. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please boot the like button. It really does help my videos to get out there and I am growing this channel nicely now. If you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you for this, it's actually quite an expensive experiment for me because I had to buy all these resins that I'm never going to use. Then the link for buying me a coffee is in the description below. I will link the resins that I use in the description below. Be sure to check out the video that I've got coming up next. I think you'll like this one. It caused a bit of controversy, but it's about the things that some resin artists do and say that I really hate. 
great. And I think you'll enjoy it. There's a lot of learning in that one as well. Take care. Enjoy your resin. Bye.